And three days have passed. Okay, maybe I gotta wait a little bit longer. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, they're off this way. Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Okay. See, so you're doing well. Mm. You two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a bit good, good, good. spicy. Romantic. Quite. Got it. Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. Oh my. So what's the surprise? What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No. Something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Estes. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? <laughs> oh, so we can either name it... We, we can be facetious and name it after ourselves. We can go killer and call it after the uh, our other nickname, the Butcher of Lavakin. Or we can just call it the simple White Wolf. You know what? I like the elegance of White Wolf. Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. Go. The Grapes of Wrath Stomp. I like it. Alright, so we got one more side quest, and then all we got left are Witcher contracts and treasure hunts. Treasure hunts we can always wait and do whenever we want. Uh, we can probably do this and this. The Tufo Monster. And then we can start looking for these. I really would like uh, I'll probably do this do the main quest progress it come down do one of these progress the main story do do another contract progress the main story then do the uh, treasure hunts actually, it actually is raining um is there a fast travel here no uh um, all right let's go take care of this I am very surprised there is no fast travel here. I stuck the lard of the Duquesa herself. Come on, right. That's it, Roach. Jacob. Heal Moholt down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Lewis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green bleeding leprechaun I am. See, not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. 
But you, you could lift the curse. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Morholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Okay, let's examine the tree. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. So... Okay, I'm willing to look into it. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is... Okay. So you must scale Link's Craig. Time. Daphne's great. Why is it always got to be a ray? Oops.
looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. Transmutation of bodies? Debury of Onus. Conclave of mages banned this town. Bones ground into dust. Wormwood. Sulfur. Wart. Scents fresh. Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Spell enhancements or trophies. Let's examine the arrow. Arrow broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch. Branch of a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest or a bad one. And doll. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft. Yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Lynx Crag, would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sagarath. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. Tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? I could not abide it. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his witch was not. Right, so you didn't cast the curse, but could you help lift it? I probably could, but why ever would I? I'll humble myself, prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. <laughs> I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None, not even I can restore to the less the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life. But I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. Hmm. How can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time. And will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again. And you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. Hmm. Now 
know what? We'll go with it. I'll trust you against my better judgment. Lock of my hair's yours. Splendid. What do I need to do? You must convince the maiden her beloved Yarn to return, but perished in the attempt. Take her silk kerchief and a fragment of Gareth's remains. His bones lie bleaching in the cave beneath this rock. Fire must consume the kerchief and remains. And remember, your heart, your intentions must be pure. Clear? Yeah. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And did you? Once you walk out that door, never shall we meet again. Okay. Oh no, these are neckers. I mean, pick them. That area just sucks. I was sliding around when I don't know why I was sliding around. Oh, wait, Kikamores are not insects. What are they? Um, hybrids? No. Well, they are insects. Okay. That's like my first death in a long time. We got Kickamores. We're gonna need that white honey. First time I've had so much ripping in so, um, in so much time. Uh, this definitely is I'm getting wrecked. Uh, all right, eat. Did 
Dragon Rage is right. Insectoid oil. Let's do this. I'm fine right there. Show me what they got. remains. These then. Wonder why the armor came apart. Magic. Gotta get back to the tree. Lift the curse. Come here, Roach. All right. Let's head back to the. Uh... What now, you piece of filth? the witch you must have what did you learn I can lift the curse free her by performing a ritual but we got to start at the right time when the hour comes I'll light four fires for the four winds then begin the ritual fires then I shall be of use to you after all chop as much as you can okay some time later. I've chopped and stacked the... My turn. Gotta let... No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case... And if you see me draw my sword... Run. Oh, you're, you're kidding me. I have to light him in the right order. Look your last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. From the east, no cry is heard. From the north, silent sighs. From the west, pure hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. This bark. The day of your freedom has come. 
Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Hey there, wife of Saint. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love. Do I get a choice on how I'm going to end this? Gareth, my Gareth, he shall never return. No, he won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? Gareth remained faithful to the end of his days. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long. I've suffered too much. And now I wish to go. Farewell, lady. I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me. For standing vigil at my feet. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her. But I guess it was not to be. We did all we could. We did all we could. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Didn't want to fight. Thanks. Him. Take care of yourself. So long, Witcher. I I'd rather just let her pass. Put this straight in my head. Alright. So now we need to go back down here. <laughs> Okay. Uh, where is the nearest? Oh, back here. All right, let's go, Rich. Oh look, it's the vineyard that I need to go to. Down we go to the hunting lodge. Or hunting cottage, however you want to call it. We got on Quinn here. And I already killed the set here, so I wonder. Strange. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm. A message trying to tell me something. Hmm. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. It's everywhere. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. <laughs> 